<coughs> so that was a really quick run through on Twitter. And we're doing a really, now a really quick run through on LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn is a primarily a business to business um, platform, professional platform. So if your um, your target market are businesses, then um, you probably need to be on Twitter because that's where your target market. Um, okay, so uh, we'll just get stuck into it. Does anyone have a LinkedIn account? Do you use a LinkedIn account to this thing there? Do you know what's great? <laughs> Actually, the absolute great thing about LinkedIn is once you've set it up and you're not really, you know, you don't have time, you can probably check it once a week. It's not as time consuming. It, it can be if you want it to be, but it doesn't have to be. Um, whereas Facebook, if somebody posts on your business page and, the, and it's saying, you know, what hours are you open? And it sits there for three or four days without a reply. You know, what, it's not a good look for the business. Whereas LinkedIn, it's you know, fairly slightly easy to go um, What is LinkedIn? Simple definition, it's an online professional network, just like you would go to a networking event. Very similar to um, LinkedIn. The complex definition is, it's a platform for building an online reputation and maintaining connections with key contacts. Now, I'm just going to stop this. For some reason, it's just gone on its own. My thing is, how powerful would it be if you had been able to collect everyone that you've worked with worked for, connected with, over, since you left school. How many connections do you have? I just might, I get so excited when I think about 19 year olds now being able to co collect all those connections and keep them fresh. So when you, you need a connection to connect you to someone else, you just go through your network. Um, I, I just think it's so powerful. But you can see I love LinkedIn. Um, so worldwide LinkedIn uses 119 million, so just more, just a little bit more than Twitter. Nowhere near as many as Facebook. Australian LinkedIn uses 2.3 million compared to 1.8 million using Twitter. Um, so that's, I think that's about 10% of Australians. Which is very large when you think it's very focused on business and professional. Relatively speaking, it is very large. They're the people typically in the profile, um, high income, yeah. high influence. If you're looking for sponsorship and all sorts of other opportunities for business ventures, it's not a bad thing. So 70% of LinkedIn users in Australia are between the age of 25 and 54. The average age of an Australian LinkedIn user is 43 and the average income is 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Not Australian users view 25 pages of LinkedIn every month. Telstra is the most connected Australian company on LinkedIn with 10 million connections. 10,000. 10, <laughs> <laughs> okay, LinkedIn benefits. Promote yourself and your business. Grow and foster network connections. Apply for or advertise job vacancies. Join groups of like-minded users. Collaborate with other businesses, B to B, so you can do joint ventures, sponsorship, um, that sort of thing, and build your online reputation. This is where I mentioned before, when you Google your name, what comes up? LinkedIn is very good <coughs> at getting your name at the top of the Google search. Um, LinkedIn lingo. Connections. Connections are, um, for instance, Lynn and I are connected on LinkedIn. So she's my first level of connection. Lynn might be connected to Wendy, but I'm not connected to Wendy, but that makes Wendy my second level of connection. And Wendy might be connected to Fiona, and I'm not connected with Fiona. Fiona's my third level of connection. That makes up my network. If I want to get a message to Fiona, say she's, she's got some contract to do social media training, I can go through Lynn and then go through Wendy and then go through to get to the end. So that's how you grow your network. Your network is a collection of all those levels together. 
Do you have to physically, I mean, not physically, but, you know, do I, I get your message? Hello, you don't no. mind that I'm confused. I could. What I would do is I would ask Lynn to send you a recommendation to recommend me to... Um, How do you know the owner exists? Because, because I, no, I want to do business with her. I know you've got a connection with her. No, no, but I can still see a profile. Yeah, I can see some information. I know that she works somewhere. It might have been in the news. I get in LinkedIn or Google and type her name. And can, you, can you go straight to the owner? So I, I call it, I call it if I had some sort of connection with the owner. You can request yeah, yeah, you can yeah. request <laughs> Yeah, you can. But that was just to explain to you how levels work in LinkedIn. Then the network is all three levels together. Um, so you create a professional profile. So that's where you um, uh, brand yourself, promote yourself as an expert. A lot of businesses get on there and think about the business, but I try to educate them and say, you are a brand. You may not be associated with that business or organisation one day, so you need to be always mindful of creating your own brand. It's like a resume, an online resume. Just um, make a connection with the business, but also grow your connections personally, because you never know when you'll need them. Then you can create a company profile, just like Facebook. You have your personal profile and your business profile. You can create a company profile where you're an employee or the manager or the owner, and there may be other people in the organisation that can also connect. When I, when I said before about Telstra having 10,000, that means they have 10,000 and half those could be employees that have actually connected to a company. You can actually join groups. Like um, there's a town, if you're on LinkedIn, there's a Townsville Business Network that um, group that you could join in. That's a group that we've created for managers, CEOs, directors, um, and owners of businesses only in Townsville, so we're restricting it to uh, Townsville businesses. But you can create your own. You might want to get on there and create a, a group of um, volunteers. There might actually there might even be a group on there for volunteers. You can get there and discuss um, things with um, like-minded people and buy them on. So you can um, apply for jobs. Rio BHP now use LinkedIn to advertise their vacant positions religiously. So if you're looking for a job, it may not be with Rio Tinder, other companies use it. Um, LinkedIn is a, um, a great avenue to go looking for a job. And if you're posting a job, how great is it to be able to screen your applicants by viewing their, their LinkedIn information um, to know that they're not psychotic or they actually can do what they've done? Well, they can work with them. No, because we, um, you get recommendations as well. So, like Jared's actually recommended me on my social media skills. So, people that know Jared may, may not know me but want to do, want to employ me. They take Jared's word as gospel, and he's recommended it. So, how, how valuable is that for me? It's like a referral. Um, and you can create events, local and virtual events. So, if you were um, looking, uh, if you were running some sort of um, fundraiser or something, you could create an event on LinkedIn and share that with whoever wanted to. So, that's my pro LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn's pretty boring compared to Facebook, Twitter, all those. You really only have one. You just put your photo on there and that's it. Now, I suggest, and there's a lot of people that don't, I suggest having a picture of yourself because if you want to do, if somebody's looking at your profile, what I want to know about you, um, a logo, it, I know it's hard to tell. It doesn't look like you, Facebook. Uh, You've got it's a shorter hair. It's shorter hair. Downloaded. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I'll go and squash up the answer. Um, <laughs> the photo just creates, I don't know about you, but I know, if I see a logo on someone's page, I think, what are they hiding? If I see a photo and it's their photo, then I'm more likely to, I'm a bit more relaxed about doing business with that person. So that's your profile, that's what other people look, that's what other people see, and that's what people will be able to get to and see if they search your name in Google. And then 
and you fill that with as much or as little information. And there are privacy settings, so you can you can select what areas are viewable by who. Um, total strangers, you might just total strangers, you might not want them to see your photo or where you went to school or all that sort of information. You can, you can do that in the back. Again, LinkedIn is a whole day workshop as well. For you. Um, step by step. Now this is the back end, very much like all the other systems that use feed. So for all the people that I'm connected to, um, for instance, Jared, I call it, I'm calling the social media chart because <laughs> he's always on there. Um, actually, I'm amazed that when I took this screenshot at 11 o'clock last night, there was no post from Jared. But um, like Holly Jackson, Holly Jackson is the social media, she runs the social media for Loloma. She does an absolute brilliant job. She is my idol. She, she really has social media nailed. Um, so yeah, then, so I'm actually connected to um, Holly and I get her foods in here. So if there's anything interesting in there, and again, there is an overwhelm. This is, this is the whole era we're in now is overwhelm. We have so much information being poured at us. We have to learn how to um, focus um, and how to let some opportunities just slide and not talk about it. So, you know, I might get, there's, um, within like one minute I've got four, uh, four LinkedIn posts, but I don't worry about it. If I glance at something and it takes my fancy, I'll do something with it. If I miss it, I'll do that. If people want to contact me directly on LinkedIn, they send me a message and it just goes into my inbox. So we, there's still that one to one. So now really the next course we should be running is how to get your tweet your business link noticed in the other 10,000 that are yes. generated. Yes. Yes. So when are we running that course? Well, <laughs> <laughs> once, once you've actually got on to, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, set them up and actually started watching, because it's, you, you learn a lot by watching what other people do and what other organisations do, how they engage. You know, I've noticed with um, Coca-Cola, their big thing at the moment is fill the gap Facebook. So they'll put a sentence and they want people to post what they would, you know, the answer would be, or questions or engagement. I mean, we're all about providing training, like free training. We just get out there. If we find something that might help one of our customers, we just pump it out there. Um, whether it gets seen or not, you know, that's, that's, that's the million dollar question in social media is to actually get seen. Get amongst all that stuff, and that's why viral helps. If you can create something that is funny, educational, inspirational, that really points to your target market, interests your target market, it's no point in doing something to have, make everyone happy because you don't want everyone. You just want that um, that client, that customer. So you really have to focus. We do have a client who I'm having battles with at the moment. He's actually um, a business advisor, local, regional, but he tends to do a lot of blogs about global stuff that's going on. You know, small businesses don't care what Sophie's doing over in the US. I mean, to me it's important, but to them they don't care. Um, so you've got to, you've really got to use your time, time wisely and focus on what you think your customers and clients want. Oh, and guess what? That's LinkedIn. <laughs> Any questions on LinkedIn? LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Lynn, 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 Lynn's on LinkedIn too. So yeah, I'm actually, yeah. last night I was happy that row of icons across the three there were looking like a laptop and things there. Oh, these ones here, they're yeah, just. The ads. Yeah, yeah these are ads. Last, 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 night, last night one came up for uh, an artist group. I thought, well, that was in, because it was promoting your art. I clicked on it and I immediately joined it. It was just such a good site. I thought, wow. And that was the first time I really saw the value for me on LinkedIn. Well, you're going to probably, what LinkedIn will do is take the information that you've put in there and customise the ads. Because I know myself, if I'm on a website and I get an ad for painting, I'm not interested in painting. But you know, from a lesson learned from Google, 
is that now platforms are actually customising the ads that are displayed. And you can, you know, if you're having an event, you can actually pay to have an ad placed in a certain, on certain people's pages. So you, um, you, know, you might want, like we, we do some work for a, a guy that builds barley huts. So we're targeting um, 20, uh, 25 to 45 year olds um, who love gardening. So we can actually pinpoint right down and now the people who are in that demographic get to see our ad. 